With November 7th fast approaching, Mass Effect fans everywhere are waiting with bated breath for the first official trailer. Admittedly, Mass Effect Andromeda has had a very unconventional reveal schedule. Some would even go as far as saying that it's frustrating. Since E3, we've only seen bits and pieces of the game that leave many feeling unsatisfied. According to the Mass Effect Twitter account, N7Day will mark the day that the doors to the next chapter of the Mass Effect universe will be opened. What is not clear is what that opening entails. So here are a few things that we hope to learn on the 7th. Mass Effect Andromeda has had the nebulous release date of early 2017 for a long time now, and we expect that the upcoming trailer will give us a better idea of when we'll finally be able to get our hands on the game. Here is hoping that it's sooner rather than later. BioWare has touted a deep level of customization in the game, and that more details would come soon. We hope to see just what deep customization means next week, and how far, beyond just customizing Ryder's appearance, it goes. As a protagonist, Ryder has been advertised as less accomplished than Shepard was at game start. In the original trilogy, where you are the hero to start with, Ryder and crew will be embarking on the journey that makes them the heroes in the first place. Here's hoping that this means we'll have more control over Ryder's backstory. We are interested to see what changes we can make, given that it's already confirmed that Ryder must have a sibling and a father. We understand that we will also be able to customize our own armor, through a system involving cloth under armor with snap-on pieces. The Mako and the Tempest appearances will also be put up to player choice. How that manifests itself, we hope to see. We've also been promised a reworking of the conversation system, with the old Paragon Renegade being dropped in favor of a more conditional choice by choice and consequence by consequence system. How this will tie into the new conversation system is yet to be seen. Developers have promised opportunities to take decisive action in character interactions, such as raising a gun to force someone to open a door instead of trying to convince them with words. How this will work and how it will differ from the old interrupt system we have yet to see, but we are very hopeful that we get to see it on N7 Day. One of the major appeals of Mass Effect is the sheer diversity of races and characters, and with the introduction of a brand new galaxy, you can bet that we'll be seeing new entries in the Codex. We've heard vague inklings about remnant, indigenous, and pre-space flight races, but so far we've only seen familiar faces in what we've been shown, aside from the floating jellyfish that we saw at the PlayStation 4 event. The trailer will likely reveal at least one of the new species, alongside a few recognizable ones that'll be joining us on our journey, and if we are lucky, we might be able to see one of the new species as a squad mate later on. With the unexpected runaway success of Mass Effect 3's multiplayer, we expect that this new entry in the series to also feature some kind of cooperative mode. We are still unsure as how this will work, and while it's unlikely to be shown off in the trailer, a subsequent release or statement will likely clarify the details. At this point, an adversarial or PvP mode seems very unlikely, but we will probably see a return to a kind of horde mode in which you and your friends will fight waves of enemies and try to accomplish certain objectives. Or, Byer might surprise us and bring in an entirely new multiplayer to Mass Effect. Whichever way they go, we hope to find out on November 7th. Now, last year's N7 day set the tone for Andromeda and has colored our viewing since, but we haven't received much hint as to what the actual game is going to be like. From a leaked survey a while back, we know that the game will be about trying to carve out a space for all the races of the Milky Way to live after having fled from the Reapers, while at the same time, fighting a deadly indigenous race bent on stopping you. Some fans were a little off-put by this approach. Mass Effect has always been a bit of a space opera, and while the methods you may use to reach your end may have been questionable, the goal was undeniably noble. But with the goal of what effectively amounts to colonization and a setup that seemingly pits you against natives who only want to defend their homeworld, Andromeda seems to be much more morally gray. We are looking forward to seeing how this game will approach these issues, with the rumored addition of a race called the Ket, who will be one of the main antagonistic forces and is more obviously evil, we may yet still see a return to the feel-good heroism of the original series. 
Whatever the approach, it is exciting to see the date of the grand reveal so near at hand. So what do you guys want to see on the N7 day reveal? What are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments down below, and while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.